Many people collect things, old things, like Tom Kemplin does. I like to collect uh, old record albums. I collect uh, sports memorabilia, especially from St. Louis, and old photographs and postcards. He collects pictures, pictures that no one else wanted. Pictures of unknown families, places that are long gone, and some places that are still here. But Kemplin sees their true value. They are moments in St. Louis history that need to be preserved. Well, some of it is, uh, feels good that you've saved this from maybe never ever seeing the daylight. One of his rescues is a collection that he came across about six years ago. I go to a, a lot of estate sales and garage sales and, and uh, auctions, and I pass out a, a business card with my name saying I collect uh, photographs and postcards. And apparently somebody had passed on my name to the Ikes, um, and they gave me a phone call. The Ikes were looking for someone who would be interested in preserving the photos taken by their relative, J.R. Ike, from 1914 to 1917. And Kemplin was more than happy to oblige. And before we left, uh, she told me she's got some uh, plates out in the garage, some glass plates that she was, you know, was getting ready to throw away. I wonder if I would take a look at them. So I went out there, and she had two big wooden boxes of this. And I figured they were just pretty much plates of some of the pictures you got. And I said, well, if you're just going to throw those away, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and take them. Yeah, right there. Long before megapixel digital photography, glass photo plates were the state-of-the-art technology. The development of these negatives opened up the art of photography to amateurs and hobbyists because with the right care and preservation, the negatives would last. How do you know, know which way is which? <laughs> well, some of the stuff, when you put it on there, you have, you have the glass side and uh -huh. you have the actual negative side. So you can tell which is the glass side and which right, is the right. negative see, side? See how, see how that's, that's got like a silver color uh -huh. and that's just got a, a shiny oh, right. glass uh -huh. side. That's the actual negative on that side. Using glass plate photography was how J.R.I. got into taking pictures. He was the amateur photographer for St. Anthony of Padua School in South St. Louis and expanded his subject into just about anything St. Louis. Slowly I started looking through and I seen what was on some of these, the historical content, uh, pictures of the first day of the Beagle Mill, uh, pictures of the first day that the uh, Free Bridge, which is now the MacArthur Bridge, was open, uh, pictures of all the major parks, Crandallet Park, Tower Grove Park, uh, Forest Park, uh, all kinds of stuff. Is this a technology that can be developed? Oh yeah, a photographer, yeah. A, a, a photographer that's set up in a dark room can use this as like a celluloid negative, like they used to before they had digital cameras, and and then they can print a uh, put it on paper and then put it in the emulsion and, and make a print from it. Lucky for Kemplin, he didn't have to go through all that trouble to develop these negatives. The photo plates can easily be scanned right into his computer, introducing old technology to new technology. And Kemplin has done St. Louisans a great service. He hasn't just boxed up these pictures and negatives. He's made them available for anyone to enjoy using the Internet. I'm willing to share them with the, you know, the people of St. Louis. And, say, and there may be a time uh, when I don't want to be the custodian of the and I will probably make sure that they get into the right hands. So what's the lesson here? Before you throw out your great-grandma's collectibles, you may want to take a closer look. You may be sitting on undiscovered history.